I just hope she remembers that, you know, but no, she can actually sing, though. We rolling? I okay. can say it better than you. Hold on, let's see. This ain't a movie, no. No fairy tale. Yo, no fairy tale conclusion, y'all. It gets more confusing every day. I got a question. You really right like the Legend? Love. At times we get sick of love. You just going to do this. It's right in my face. Just John Legend right in my face. I just want to jump to it because I've been having heat. Go ahead. Take, go to the hook. You hang up, I call. That's how he sound, too. That's exactly how he sound. No, I don't do it. Like no, there's ordinary people. I don't know the rest of the words because I don't, don't listen to John Legend. Like way, everybody else. You right, don't well, listen well, to John Legend. Try to show because I'm, I'm sick of your John You could have did Keith Sweat. Nobody can do Keith Sweat because nobody you can sound. You got me twisted. Y'all just got a wine. He sound like he's drinking water while he's singing. Because he got leather pants, so you know when they get stuck to you? Oh, leather pants. No, yeah, I don't. That's why. I'm not. You've never worn leather pants, bro. I'm going to get some. But I, I stay in Florida, though. They stuck to you. But that's that's why he sound like that, because he's trying to get him up off. You know how he's trying to wiggle up. Out of, you ever know? Like, you, like Beyonce you know, when she put it in her cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to gotta get up out of him. He starts sweating a little bit. Keep sweat. Actually, put on in Florida. And that boy like, he cha cha slide. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, anyway, all right. This is the OMG is Wick show. I don't know what episode we on at this point. Yeah, I lost yeah. count a long time ago, but it don't even matter because we're going to roll into it. You got OMG is Wicks, and I got. Oh, uh, it's Manny Knox. The deep voice assassin. I yeah, see you, bro. Man. Listen, you can tell when somebody happy because their voice get deeper. My voice is just like this, y'all. I'm still single out here. No matter what they tell you on the internet, I'm still single. It, I am. Don't look at me like um, that. All right. I'm single for real. Why you keep saying that? Because you're giving me a look like I'm not. No, no. Do you, I, I just don't know if you're saying that for a reason. Do you? Did you talk to somebody I ain't talked to? No, 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 no. Okay. I don't Let know if you fun of me in my life, but whatever. I didn't, what did I say? Nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's coming. Oh, okay. So even quick. So, so the internet. Now that we're already talking about the internet. Now, I knew I grew up without the internet. You, you're a few years behind me, so you grew up without the internet. Yeah. Do you think that there's any benefits to us growing up without the internet? Um, yeah, there's a benefit to growing up with or without anything. So, okay, so... Because so, we get to know both sides of things. I think we could be more grateful about the mm-hmm. internet as opposed to somebody who always had it and don't know what it's like to be without it. That is true. Because so. a lot of them don't know. And I see kids these days. Cause, you know, I got kids myself. So, but I do see a lot of kids these days are younger people. They don't I don't have any that I know of. I'm huh? working on it, though. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Get it in, my boy. Uh, but with me, like I see a lot of these people can't detach from these social media platforms or detach from the internet. Me, I was outside. I mean, I got asked when I stay in South, you know, South Florida, Southwest mm-hmm. Florida, but I was still outside. I was doing the basketball, football, the sun. You know, it was, I was doing all of the stuff that kids did back then. Um, did they open fire hydrants here? Or is that just an up north thing? No, we did it too. Listen, yeah. we in Florida, and man. And we cans, do. And y'all put the cans on yeah. the direct the water? Yeah, yeah, we did. Well, we See, that's something it. they'll never experience. I mean, I could, well, we'll go to jail, but I mean, we can go out there and show them. I be trying to show my kids, like, stuff that we used to do. But then you realize, like, we weren't really supposed to be still living it. If, you know what I'm saying, if we repeated some of those things. Yeah, like movies. Like, not even kids. Even, like, if you date a younger girl and show her a movie that you thought was fire. And then she's looking at you like this is the most trash thing I've ever seen in my life, and you have no taste. Listen, if I if I listen, if I'm dating you and I show you five heartbeats, and you was like, "What's the point of this movie? We're done. We're done." At that point, we don't have any business being together. Because if you can't enjoy five, when when Eddie Kane slid out on that stage, and he was, oh, you don't understand that that I don't need to be with you. John Legend could have pulled that off too. He could not. He first of all, first of all, we're talking about a legend. Eddie Kane Jr. was a legend, and you're not going to put John Legend in that conversation. I don't got beef with John Legend at all, y'all. I just want to point that out. I'm you just, just saying, saying he has no good songs, and why? I didn't say that. You said why I said he got two. To him. And you say he can't sing. Well, he doesn't have the greatest voice, but but that doesn't mean that he's not talented. Because I I, I gave you some examples. I'm a Key Sweat fan. Key Sweat doesn't have the greatest voice. That's just a fact, right? Am I tripping? You're the only person bringing up Key Sweat. Key Sweat like don't even talk about himself in his house. So you're trying to say Key Sweat is not a great writer? Babyface is not the greatest of voices. But that's true. But he has a better voice. That pin, Babyface's pin is t- is top tier. Yeah, but he got a better voice than Keith Sweat. He got a better voice than John Legend. The best thing Keith Sweat ever did was when he was on the Wayne's Brothers show. He was on the Wayne's Brothers show. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. 
I, I met him. He's pretty he's pretty cool in person. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well when, when I performed that oh, night, yeah. he was cool. Him and uh Jay uh Jay Holiday. I didn't even know who he was. He was just sitting there with a bottle. And I'm like, who is this guy just sitting there, you know, drinking? And it was him. He went on performing. I was like, hey, they were like, Jay Holiday. And I'm like, I said, Bed? That same thing happened when I met Nori. For real, you met him? I met him and he was like talking to me. I'm like, oh, why is this weirdo talking to me? He was so New York. And it was just irritated me because I was like, I just recently <laughs> moved here. And I'm like, I miss it and I hate Florida. But he was like, yo, what's up? And I'm like, who are you? But I, I'm not, like, that's what I'm in my head. And then he's invited me to his hotel to like an after party. I'm like, who does this weirdo think he is? I'm not going to your hotel. Like, yeah. And then I walk away and they're like, that was Nori. And I was like, oh my God, I was so disrespectful to him. I ever told you that I was on the phone with DMX before? What? I was on the phone with DMX before. Yeah, Bro, it was the weirdest like experience ever in life. Um, Wait, why? what was the situation? How the hell you got on the <sighs> phone with him? How did I, how we been friends as long as I know? Okay, so me and my kid's mother was together, mm -hmm. right? My mother-in-law at the time was friends with someone that DMX knew. So DMX actually came to Fort Myers a lot. And nobody really knew this because he was just around. So I guess they were downtown. I knew DMX was performing downtown. So it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. And my mother-in-law was calling my kid's mother. And she, she gets up. My kid, now, you know, I, I'm, I'm paranoid of people. I always think everybody's trying to take me out. Um, which I should have never got in, you know, in that pool. We're gonna talk. We ain't gonna talk about that right now. But um, she she's on the phone and she was like, "Who is this? I don't know who no ex." And then she kept saying that. So then she hands me the phone and I'm like, "Hello." And he was like, "Hey, yo!" And he like he sound just <laughs> like that. Like he sound just <laughs> like that, bro. And he was uh, like, "It's ex." And I'm like, "I don't know who this is. I'm half sleep." So then I passed the phone Yo, back to her. Said that's got to be the scariest thing to, for it to be 2, two in, the morning, in the morning and the, the voice you hear is DMX. Bro. That's like waking up to Mike Tyson in your house. I'm moving out. He can have it. He can. But Tyson kind of cool now though. But you know what he can do. Like you, I seen him do what the body back was. Yeah. So, but yeah, so he's like, it's X. And you know, I'm like, we go back and forth. I'm like, I don't know who this is. So then I pass it back to her. She hangs up. The next day, her mom was like, Y'all was on the phone with DMX. I gave him, I told him that um, my son-in-law was a big fan and that I wanted you to talk to him. And she said, I was out with his, I can't remember if his sister, his wife, or somebody that he was, uh, that he was very close to him. And I'm like, I was on the phone with DMX and didn't even know. Crazy. If I'd have knew that, I'd have like, you know, I would have got more out of embarrass yourself if you were I would embarrass myself. Because like, there's some people you, like I met a lot of famous people, but DMX, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was top tier to me. Like, he was one yeah. of the first New York rappers that I actually enjoyed. I know you probably gonna have beef with that, but it is yeah, what it is. <laughs> this is saying, a DMX is... All right, so this is... DM, don't you... Don't, is don't do what you about to do, man. This is DMX don't do, as far as a rap level, and here's Young M.A. See, now you're being disrespectful. If you put a, a, fate, a cover over <laughs> both of their faces and they both rap, it would sound... First you, of you all, nobody sounds difference. like DMX. You ever saw was, those commercials where they're like, all right, which one's Coke and which one's Pepsi? It's the same thing. As DMX is... We, are, we ain't gonna talk about it. DMX is a legend. All right. So we ain't gonna do I that. I mean, so is Young M.A., but whatever. To who? Hefferny. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever that is. Yeah. Um, so... Is the internet okay? So I'm just gonna keep rolling because we got off. Because you know I'm a DMX fan, and I don't know why you keep doing DMX like that. But you're a fan of John Legend, but I'm not trying to say your music taste is lacking. I'm just I mean, saying we, we shouldn't compare those two because they're completely different. But if I had to listen to somebody all day, it'd be DMX over John Legend. DMX sing better than John Legend. All right, move on, bro. <laughs> what is this? Speaking of toxic, <laughs> so is the is the internet? Do you feel that like the internet is toxic? It has become toxic because I don't feel like it started toxic. Even though I got catfished mm -hmm. before, um, you did too. Or once, yeah. Oh, I was there. Um, so, oh, twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was kind of four in one because all three of those catfished. <laughs> was Rudy? Rudy was there too, right? No, no, Rudy was not there. Rudy wasn't there. I don't think so. No, Rudy wasn't there. We were shooting a video. Yeah, but Rudy was nothing. I see, shot that. No, G Man mm -hmm. shot it. Were you there when we went to? Um, no, no, we was at uh, North Fort Myers. Where we used to do the old podcast. Rudy you were there? there for that music video. Yeah, we got to look at that music video after this. Uh, nah, episode. it's because she went in it. But the other one was. Oh no, she was in it. Yeah, the other one was in it. 
Oh, that was so great. Manny got catfish. I got catfish too, but like my space days, you know. But so do you feel like the internet over time has become toxic? Because I do feel like at one point um, it was beneficial. But after like the AOL, because that was just... AOL was fire, especially those bad groups. Bang. Oh, a state location? I kissed my brother by mistake because of the internet once. Because AOL. <laughs> did, you, did you feel like it was speeding up? No, no, nah, because, nah, you know... So we were, it was dialing and it was taking forever and I was bored. And you know when you got a brother sister, you ever played the game with your brother sister where y'all get like, all right, this, and y'all get as close to annoy the person as possible? Yeah. Oh, he, so we were waiting and he was behind me. So I'll go like this and then bam, to try to get close and throw him off. And then one of the times I turned and I kissed him. Oh. And that was his first kiss. And I feel bad that now I was he his got to tell that story. Yeah. I'm like, what was your first kiss? I felt his lips on my lips for like two weeks, but not in a good way. Mm. Like mm. disgusting. So that's the story he got to tell. He probably don't even remember, or he's going to pretend like it didn't happen. I, I would pretend like And if he do happen. that, boy, he better not play with me, because I'll do a reenactment video. No, no, I would pretend like it didn't happen. No, I would definitely do that, but... Okay, so the toxic, toxic parts of the internet. The internet is not toxic. The internet... The people are toxic, bro. I, I agree with that. The internet... What the internet is, is a tool, and just like any other tool, are you... It can be used for good and it can be used for evil, like fire. So it's one of those powerful tools in the world that's like, yeah, exactly. Like, how are you going to use it? So no, it itself is not toxic. It had a good intention. It still has good intentions. But when you give, no, it's like giving an idiot Iron Man suit. Like, they're going to mess something up because they just dumb. I so no, you, I don't, we can't blame the internet for toxicity. The internet is just like the... The, the road in which that toxic stuff comes out to people. I do agree with that. I feel like and I tell people this all the time because I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like I was the because um, I was toxic on the Internet for for some time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was very toxic on the Internet. Now, what I will say, because like people say the trolls, when I used to do what I did, I didn't hide behind a fake profile. Mm. Like, you knew it was me when I yeah. did what I did. You knew it was me because you got to know because it's my work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I do, like you said, when you do give certain people voices, um, there are some people that are and I feel like they are having issues with themselves. They don't know how to deal with things themselves. So they try to get on the internet. And, and I, I preach this a lot to people um, that decide to get on the internet. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, well, what do you do about this? And I'm like, none of these, like, they don't know me for real. And a lot of these people have become so comfortable because it is the internet to say things that they wouldn't say in to person. people in person. So mm-hmm. I, I, I can't take that. Like, if you came up and said that to me in person, then I would, I would take it personally. But unless you, like I said, whatever you see on the internet, don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? You're behind this profile and it, like, I don't care what you say. Really? I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I do feel like over time because of all the social media platforms and the access that it has become more and more toxic. Yeah. Cause I mean like my space, I don't feel like my space was toxic, but that was just the beginning. That's what I'm saying. So it was like it's the tool that started off for good and people started using it for, I had like my, I had city of wicks falling and I had my music playing in the background. My top eight people was fighting to be in my top eight. But I was, I was doing my See, thing. My space was fun, but the different thing now is like everybody wants attention. Yeah, but some people want it more yeah. than others, or they want it for different reasons. So the problem with the internet thing today is the access. Mm. You can go reach for attention that you would otherwise never got. So do you feel like people's need for attention is more? toxic than the actual correct it's not the tool it's, it's the, the people yeah it's the same with fire like fire can be used for great you know what i'm saying but it also yeah. can like be the used. best thing is like like mental health is real prevalent now yeah but guess what mental health the issues that we have today always existed yeah but now people are more comfortable to talk about it because more people agree with it so now you got to put those feelings out there and you got to share that and you want to go out and get attention for that um so, yeah, I do agree because I, I, I learn a lot from the Internet as far as like I, I attend YouTube University. Um, I, I, I learned everything on YouTube. Like I was learning how to garden. Um, I'll learn how to edit a video. I, I had a good time a hearing you talk about gardening. Uh, yeah, I was. Wait, you said what about a shelf? I learned how to build a shelf. Did you build them? I learned. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it. Then so you I can't just, say I learned how to build I mean, but a it, shelf. It, 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 it held stuff. It uh, held stuff. It I did. Mean, it did the job, but it didn't look good. Okay. But it did the job. I guess. I'm but I put it that way. I learned a lot. I learned how to, you know, 
I learned a lot about animals, how to deal with animals and um, bugs. And I learned a lot from the internet. So I, I usually, I normally use it. Like I said, I know I'm on social media. My, my, hold on, Heavy. I don't know if I'm ignorant. You said YouTube University. YouTube University. Is that just a funny way to say I learned things on YouTube or is yes. there an actual YouTube University? No, no, that's just me attending and learning from YouTube. Is that some senior citizen thing to, for me to say that I didn't know that? Yes. That's a common term? Yes. YouTube University? Yes. I didn't know that. Now, now you. I, that's the second time I've heard it. I thought there was actually like you can do no. like I mean YouTube they, channel. You know what I ain't gonna say because it's just sound dumber the more that I think about it. No, I mean there's like things that you can. You know what I'm saying? Like there's channels. Yeah, you know. No. Yeah, I mean you do once you accomplish. What Y'all you're can't even to look at me like I'm stupid because there's so no. many online no. schools and stuff. I would not be surprised if somebody came out with a YouTube. YouTube diploma. diploma. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like all these platforms, like there's so many social. Yeah, I got media my YouTube diploma and ASMR. I just whisper into microphone. <laughs> Got my bachelor's. <laughs> like back, but back then it was so easy, right? Because you had MySpace, and if you wanted to really, like, I, I remember sliding in some DMs, like, hey, let me get your Uvu. You remember Uvu back in the day? I remember the word, but I never used Uvu. Yeah, I used to slide in a DM because that's like the video chat. Because mm. I had got catfish one time. Went all the way to Palm Bay, and I was catfish. So that's a long trip to go bro, to get catfish. Why would you take that chance? Because it was back in the day. It was before the show Catfish. Oh. You were, catfishing wasn't really like known like that that's why i'd be so surprised when people get catfish these days Mm -hmm. because there's so much access like bro you can facetime someone you can video chat on every almost every single social media platform has video chat Mm -hmm. like how do you how are you still getting catfish there's no way you can get catfish now but no i'm saying the filters okay i get that the filters i get that but i'm saying like you at least have a a basic view understand of, of what they look yeah. like so i get that the filters because that's happening I mean, they have a new person showing up yeah like because you know the catfish show st- is still a thing they still have new episodes, new episodes of, catfish. of catfish that goes back to mental health though bro they ain't got nothing because before it just used to be idiots but now it's people with mental health issues because you gotta you gotta want to be in a relationship on both sides because how are you gonna be like i'm in love with this person and i'm gonna meet up and every time y'all try to facetime they oh, phone my camera off. Nah, use somebody else. Camera. Somebody broke my iPhone. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You got an iPhone. I, I already understand. Like, bro, as soon as you, like, if I, if we're talking, first of all, well, yeah, we're talking and I decide that we're going to take it off the internet. You got to FaceTime me, video message me. Mm-hmm. So I've been catfished before. So, I'm, you know, it's still there. So I'm already like suspicious at the beginning. You know what I'm saying? I want social security cards. Yeah, you got to give me a video of you throwing up gang signs. Like, you got to get like, nah. Okay, put in a question, right? Because I was in, you know, I was in a relationship once upon a time. Mm -hmm. Um, And I I plan on being in one after Hoochie Daddy season, which the song, I found a beat, man. I'm excited about this song. I I found a beat. I want to hear the song. We got a book studio. I'm going to do it. I will book the studio time personally. I just, this just needs to hurry up and happen. I want more details. I'm excited. Okay. After Hoochie Daddy season, I do plan on getting in a relationship. All right. And maybe this isn't the time. It's you need to do time. the Hoochie Daddy song. Yeah. Set the whatever the season is, and we need to throw, host a party, a Hoochie Daddy season shorts party. Man, I've been working. I've been extra days in the gym. I mean, I know, like I said, my legs look little because I got sprinter's legs. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? Like, I, That's I was a sprinter. Calling. I was a sprinter in high school. So, you know uh-huh. how you like, I had sprinter legs. I've never heard somebody say that you had sprinter legs. Yeah, like a greyhound. That's not, on a person. <laughs> that ain't, that's not what's hitting, no. I mean, who am I to talk? But I'm but just saying, like, who's the, what's the fastest dog? Like, what? Yeah, it would be the greyhound, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's all I'm saying. Sprinters late. But hoochie daddy season ain't about who running fast. You need them yams, no, but bro. That, I know, but I, I I got a little bit of muscles in them now. All right, so but anyway, we let's do the, out. You gonna do the party? Let's do the I'm, party. I'm with it. I'm down. I'm Can we excited. do the paint and sip? Oh, we gotta talk. We gotta talk after this. Um, but with the internet right because i've had this in relationships i've been a victim not like a victim as in i was the one that they did it to me but i did it to them in the past do you feel like the internet affects relationships like if you're in a relationship do you feel like because back in the day okay let me let me just an example so back in the day you didn't really have as many options it was kind of like who you seen on your uh-huh. regular path if you went to bars you went to clubs you went to yeah so it, it wasn't as much access to people you didn't have as many options but now the internet exists and you can get like you can contact people from anywhere in the world pretty yeah. much you know what i'm saying so do you feel like because of 
those options and that access, do you feel like it's made it harder for relationships these days? Nah, I once again, it's it's, it's a people problem, not a technology problem. I will say but that. But that should just be, be me. I'm, I'm Maybe I'm an old man or the way I think about things. Like even that, you're talking about options. I'm not even going to be in no way involved with a person unless I'm they cool as heck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, unless I yeah. vibe with them. Yeah. So if you that already, I have no, I'm not looking for options. Yeah. If, but see, if I'm already dealing with you and I don't see it's like you're the option, then I might as well just not deal with you anymore and be single. And so to me personally, the internet's never affected my, let me not say that the internet has affected my relationship, but not because of anything I did. Like the internet yeah. didn't cause me to be unfaithful or thinking about yeah, being yeah, unfaithful yeah. or not treat my girl right. The other, when I say I got in trouble with the internet is when, you know, when I used to do the social media stuff and we did the comedy, <laughs> I always had to hear, oh, who's this liking this 12 times? And Bro, blah, blah, blah. that was the... And it's like, you know, all right, you see how obsessed this person is. If I wanted to deal with this person, I would be dealing with them and not you. Yeah, and they're obsessed like with me. Once. They're obsessed with me and you just take two pickles off of my sandwich and me mug me like you're going to snuff me like Mike Tyson. Yes. So yes. that's what I, when I say I got in trouble with the internet, it was that way. Not, and I've never been tempted from by the internet when I was dealing with somebody. So, but I'm also a weirdo. And no, I will I say be, you you do date one woman at a time. So I will give you that. I no, appreciate no. you saying that right now, especially in the situation. I appreciate you saying. <laughs> got your back, friend. Bro. Got yeah. you back forever. Um, but no, but for real, like in all seriousness, since I've known you, you have been you know a one one woman per one woman. <laughs> I appreciate man. you, bro. Speak. Now me, uh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just started laughing at the same time. I think that's kind of messed up. I know you're just gonna be honest, just like off no, rip. I'm honest. I'm, you know me. That's you the know, one thing. I, let me let you finish. I, I, I'm sure we're gonna laugh harder after you. That's pretty messed up. Um, so I do feel like at some point, at one of my relationships, uh -huh. that access did because it was something like you said when we was growing up we didn't have the internet and it was something that i got used to and then i had became popular and i didn't know how to deal with it this is before mm -hmm. this yeah. social media thing happened this was like like i was at a small level of popularity and i didn't know how to deal with it so with all of that access and this was like myspace days um i did i think i did let it consume me um also i was younger i was in my early 20s which is no excuse but with all of that and you getting this attention that you know what I'm saying? You didn't you didn't have before because, like I said back then, we just had the chat rooms. But no, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But so I did fall victim. I want I don't even want to say victim because I was just out there um, to those options. But now with me getting older and learning the internet, I learned to separate the internet from my personal life. Yeah. So I, I will say that the options don't affect me um, as much. Um, even like in my single life, like I do. I do be online on these internet dating platforms. I got an account on everywhere. If y'all see me on Christian Mingle, Farmers Only, Silver Singles. Yo, the numbers on, on Tinder. Silver Singles just shot up. Boy, I'm on my hill. All these people out there, they found out. I'm my hill. They searching. Um, I'm, on, I'm on almost all of them. Facebook dating. Um, I only, the only the recent one I tried was, was it black.com? I was on that. But I realized, like, hold up. You're not what these people are here for. I I, it was, I was it was not a good look. They somebody sent me one for like a sugar mama site. Oh, and I was like, let me go and sign up. I'm everywhere else, yeah. but even in my like single life, like well, I you just gonna slide over that. <laughs> 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 did any sugar mamas hit you up, or did no, you I, not I, dabble I, in the app? Or I ain't finished creating it. But I, I, I with me the the internet dating is more like. Can I just say something, man? What, what you're doing here with the podcast and the other things you're thinking about. I think it's time you get on a sugar mama. You think so, right? And we need to start funding this operation that we're trying to build here. You think so, right? I feel like if you don't do it, you're selfish. I feel like you're right. I'm going you, to finish my account. You got to give these sugar mamas what they need. You know what I'm saying? So they can give you what we need. Sexual chocolate. Hey, you see how I'm treating you? It ain't even about you. I need you to go sell yourself. Sexual to, chocolate. To get us what we need. I got a Randy Watson suit. Me too. Oh, Yeah. I got a Randy Watson suit at home. Don't ask me why I got, I, why I need a Bruce Leroy. No, we're go, we getting off topic. So, <laughs> with that, <laughs> I do got, I'm, I need a Bruce Leroy and a hammer. Oh, I thought you meant like a physical hammer. You talking no, about no, a hammer? No, no, MC off. hammer. For your dating site or just personal? Just personal. Why do I need it? I don't, but it's cool to say I got it. Like, mm -hmm. when I just said I got a Randy Watson suit, you got excited. You was like, for real? I do got one. 
Well, I was excited for you because I know how much you and Randy Watson like get along. Yes. And then I was thinking the Bruce Leroy one, that would be. I need to get it. Well, I might get show enough. Nah, I'm more Bruce Leroy because I'm a nice guy. I'm not. Maybe you get the show enough one for the bedroom. You know what I'm and saying? And Bruce Leroy for your but they casual won't, stuff. They won't know. Like, well, you're right. Because if I date somebody, they got to know show enough and Bruce Leroy. They got to know Randy Watson. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, so you don't feel like, well, I know to you personally, but to, cause I, I do see a lot of people and especially with relationships these days, they aren't as successful as they used to be. But I, I feel like that's a few reasons. I feel like there's a few reasons. Cause back then, like I said, you didn't have the access, you didn't have the option. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you kind of let a little bit more slide. You know what I'm saying? If people were together, I feel like nowadays, because there's so many, like you can get on the internet and there's like options everywhere um you keep talking about these options i'm i'm not taking up on the options like mm-hmm. but i don't also don't have time because you know y'all know how you i can work. always make the time bro y'all know how i work you can always make the time i work from the time i wake up to the time i sleep nobody really wants to like they'll say yeah i'm cool i, I want to still date you and then as soon as they get in my life and they realize that okay he's a full-time dad and he's a you know this is what he does work like he works work mm-hmm. like it's just, then they're like well you don't have time for me and i'd be like well duh that's what i said yeah you told you told me something about uh when you try to tell people something and they they don't listen they act like they listen and they're down with it but it's because they didn't know what really came with that exactly with that, with that contract it's like trying to listen to a john legend song um so what i was <laughs> <laughs> i like two songs though Whatever. This, this is going to be John Legend going to probably have beef with me. What if John Legend released a diss track? No, I'll be disappointed in him. I don't, I don't have beef for him John to Legend. take the time to respond to your foolishness. I would be disappointed. I, I like John Legend. Just like I'm just saying, he ain't Maxwell. Like, are we saying he's Maxwell? Um, music Soul Child. Doo, 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 no, doo, Music doo, Soul Child is a different level. But why you, okay, I was just so now, Maxwell, but now, I'm, Soul now I'm a little upset. Cause I say music soul child and you're like, oh no, but when I say Maxwell, you are pretty wait, what you wait? I just personally, I'm if you ask me who I'm listening to all day, I would listen to Music Soul Child over Maxwell. Okay, let me ask a question. When you think of the movie Love and Basketball, what comes to your mind? The actual movie or the Maxwell song? The Maxwell song. You don't even know I don't even know what goes on in Love and Basketball, but I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I've never I been know like- that. And I'm I'm probably wrong for this, but well, no, I would say I have, and I'm saying more often times I've been like, oh, I want to go listen to this John Legend song. The Maxwell. I want to go listen to the Maxwell, the any Maxwell song, and that's the only Maxwell song that I would really go to. Like I let the Jay Z thing go. Now I will say that Maxwell song, that one is better than like John Legend's best song. Any one, but I like more John Legend's. Pretty Wings. Pretty Wings is fire. I would listen to that song over any John Legend song. I think I, I think I got. I, we've been friends. I let the, I let the Jay Z thing go, but I, I'm actually a fan of Feature Jay Z. I told you this. I get real triggered when you talk about Jay Z, bro. Let's, <laughs> what? let's move. But that, on. that's past. You, that's you turn this into something every time. But that's beyond where I was before, right? Remember, because remember sure. before, but now I'm moving towards like I like Feature Jay Z. Like the older I get, the more I listen to him. I'm like, okay, I see why people like it. The way you pitching it, you're like. You're like an abusive man. Like you're my <laughs> abusive boyfriend. Why do you say? Because you just this is what an abusive boyfriend would do. What you just did. What I've been hitting you less than what I used to. <laughs> no, Excuse me. No, like, I'm just saying. But for me to come this far with Jay Z, I like Jay-Z. like I like him as a person. I mean, I don't know him as a person, but I like his business and <sighs> the way he conducts yeah. business stuff like that, and the stuff that he does for others without having. Like I, I like that part. The pot, you know. The, the way that he helps other people. Mm-hmm. I like that. But I'm just saying, you ain't finna hear me playing the regular version of Brush Your Shoulders Off. I'm playing a Lil Wayne version. All right, yeah, whatever. <laughs> what a surprise. So, okay, so the, speaking of, do you feel like the internet has made it? And I feel, I feel like this because, like I said, I, we talked about this a little bit, but the internet uh-huh. being, making it easier for people to disrespect you. Oh, 100%. Because as I like used to earlier, there's people going to say something to you, like, are you on the internet or over the phone? Like, even me, right? I work in customer service. Oh, people yeah. fix their mouth to say some stuff to me on the phone. But I promise you, if it was face to face, it's going it's gonna to be different. But I, yeah, I, and, I, and I even I'm not, I, I'm not even saying like I'm the baddest person in the world. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is people, 
I don't feel like people carry the same energy from the internet. To, like me, if you see me on the internet and you see me in real life, uh-huh. I'm the same exact person. If I say it to you on the internet, I will say it to you in person. That, that's who I am. That's how I, that's how I am. That's how I've always been. I'm, that's how you are. I've seen it to where you'll say things on the internet and you'll say the same thing in, in person because you carry the same energy. You're not a different persona once you get on the yeah. internet. But I've seen a lot of people, bro, that'll like come at me in different ways. And it's like, you, first of all, they don't know me. Second of all, you're only doing this because you're on the internet. And, and I'll ask, because I'm, I'm like one of those people that I have to, I, I try to understand people. Um, and it's not because, and a lot of people are like, just don't worry about it. And I'm like, no, it's not that I don't worry about it because that negative, like I understand they're, they're coming from a hurt place. Yeah. So they need to heal first off. Um, I'm on my healing journey. So I, I get it. Cause I used to, I wasn't that bad. Like I don't just get on strangers profiles and just yeah. say the most disrespectful stuff, but I used to, I, mainly out of trying to make people laugh, but I used to say some wild stuff. So even those are some good old days. Yeah, yeah. But I, like me and my healing journey, like I understand why I was the way that I was. Yeah. And a lot of those people need to heal. But like I said, they 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 take stuff out of pocket sometimes. But I'll get in there. I'll, I'll ask them like, why do you feel this way? And, and they it'd don't. Be, it'd be that same person too, right? If you respond to them, then they talk to you different. Oh, he's talking to me now, bro. And then like, sorry, I was just being a, that. That happened to me not too long ago. That's, and this is what you said. It's like that's some hurt, miserable person. And they said, let me uh, transfer this to you. Yeah. And then you address them and then they got a whole different attitude. It's a whole nother story. And, then, and then I understand like some people may take things a different way. So with me, the way that I am is I'm an understanding person. So if you come at me and you feel a certain type of way, then I'm going to try to understand why you feel that way. Like, why, why do you feel that way? And it's not because I'm like trying to. But it's more so me trying to understand because maybe you took something from it that wasn't supposed to be there. Or maybe it's something that I didn't know that was there. You know maybe what I'm saying? I could address it differently. Yes. Time, so I don't give somebody else the same reaction you had to it. No, I so that. some people will come and they come for understanding. And once we have a, like, I've had people that come in my inbox, they're angry. Like, they're angry. And then yeah. as soon as we have like a minor conversation, they're like, you know what? I didn't even, you know what I'm saying? We come to an understanding. And we, me and those people end up becoming cool. Because and th- those become some of my like most loyal people that support what I do yeah. because we've come to that understanding. They understand me. I understand them. We're cool. But then you have some people like like are just, that are just hurt, angry. Mm-hmm. They're just trying to transfer negative energy. So they will get on the internet, say wild stuff, and when you yeah. try to like, okay, why do you feel that way? Because I do. And it's like, oh, okay, so you just want a problem, and I yeah, block them. I've always been in that opinion. Uh, like a conversation, you don't, you might not believe for what well, a, a conversation, or the, the term is a conversation can fix anything, right? Yeah. But it's not, that's not always true. It can't always no. fix anything. But in most cases, I think it can, right? And, and when two people get, let's say, let's say two people are beefing, right? Yeah. No matter how cool people want to be, whatever, any intelligent person doesn't want to go to war. That's true. Even if you're willing to, even if you're confident, a smart person doesn't want to go to war. No. So if, if you are conflicting, if you guys have a conflict and you talk that out, in most cases, you both going to try to be smart and do everything to avoid war. That's true. I agree with that. But then there's some wars that like. You just got to have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like 50 and Ja Rule. You got to have it. You know what I'm saying? It just has to happen. Um, so, okay. So I will say this as far as the internet. Now, I know the internet has made life is a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? Especially. Like you said, for information that's out there, for yeah. shopping, you can pretty much get anything you want on the internet at this yeah. point. Um, boy, the internet killed Blockbuster. <laughs> boy, they took them out. <laughs> they took the them internet out. killed Toys R Us. Got him out of there. That giraffe off with his head. Boy. But he out there right <laughs> now just angry. Gone. Him and Bobby Brown just... Now, let me not do that because I like Bobby Brown. It's all Amazon, bro. I'm telling you, but... I, I do feel like the internet has made, has its positive. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It has done a lot. It's like I said, for information, I can get information because you know, I'm into my health stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I can get information on health stuff. Um, and pretty much information on anything you need. Yeah. You can just get on the internet if you know where to look and get this information. Um, so I do feel like the internet does have its positive. No, it goes back to exactly what I said. Like even in that situation, what what are you going to use it for? Are you going to use it for good? Or are you going to use it for bad? I used to use it for bad, but now I use it for good. And even like what I do as far as my content, like I what I do now is just try to uplift people, try to keep people in positive spirits, and talk about what I know. I know yeah. Florida. I've been here my whole life. Even though I feel like this is a different sun than what I grew up with, yeah. this ain't the same sun. This sun is closer. Like 
I walked out the side the other day and the sun was whispering in my ears. And I was it's, it's gotta be to go the back eggs, in the house. The you think eggs. so? Yeah. So you feel like my my skin is like thinner? Something like that, yeah. Or drier or because he was like, I felt like it's he just was just different. I felt like I was giving him a piggyback ride. The other day I went outside the sun, he was just giving him a piggyback ride. He was on my back. And yeah, that thing be flirting with me, boy. Yeah, he just right there, like, what's up? And I'd be like, whoa. What's up? You know what I'm saying? So, but um, so this is the last topic, right? This is the last thing I got to talk about. And I got to address this because I see this. I've been through this. You've been through this. I know somebody close to me right now doing a business, starting their business, and okay. they're going through this. Um, why? Okay. Why do people close to you? And this is, the, I've never understood this. Why do people closest to you wait until strangers support you before they support you? Um... I think it goes back to the attention thing and to wanting to be the center of attention. Cause they're not at that point, somebody's not even supporting you to support you at that point. They're supporting you say, Oh, Hey, I know that person that you think is famous and cool. I know them. Blah, right. So that goes back to that. That's one thing. And then two, sometimes people don't really see where you are, where you're going or what direction you're headed. Mm-hmm. Cause they're so close to you. Like yeah. they, they experience you every day. You're a regular thing to them. Yeah. And now they're seeing like, hold up. My homegirl that's never met him knows what he does. Like, right. So, oh, that happens. Sometimes that's just what it takes to hit, unfortunately. But that's, that's it so can be subconscious, but that's how it works. That's so strange to me. Okay. So like my sister is starting her business. You know, she's cooking, she does decorating. She does mm-hmm. all of this stuff. She's starting her business from the day that she was like, I'm doing this. Like I'm, I'm supporting her, yeah. you know, but that's how I am. Like if you came to me when you was, when we were at the studio and you was like, I'm going to start painting. Yeah. I instantly started supporting you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If, if one of, if somebody around me is start doing something, I'm going to instantly start supporting you because that's, that's what's in me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then vice versa. Every time I try to do something, I will say that y'all support me. Like I said, there's a p- few people in my family that will like support me, support me. Um, but like I said, a lot of them, waited until people that you know people that were strangers started supporting me and once they realized i was getting popular then they're like oh that's my cousin oh that's my friend oh I, you know what i'm saying i it's know like him shifting the attention right back then now and bro like i don't be for that because like, like cool by association yeah 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 well like you said yeah you're right the attention thing but it's like listen i will tell you if your friend decides and you can see that and i understand like a lot of times you meet like you, but you know the people in your life that are serious about stuff. Yeah. If I say I'm going to do something, anybody around me know that I'm one of those people that if I say I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do it. Like I'm going to figure out a way. I'm not stopping until I do. I'm very motivated. I'm very focused. Once I zero in on something. Yeah. Um, so I understand that there's some people that be like, I'm going to do this because I know people like that too. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to do this. And then a week later, they'll be like, well, I don't want to do that no more. I'm going to go do this. You'll find a reason not to do it. Yeah. So, but if you... Those people, I get it, but if you find somebody that's like, I'm doing this, and you see them trying to grind and get it off the, off, you know what I'm saying, off the ground, support them because you never know where they're going to be in, in a year, in two years, in three years. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to be left out because now I have family members that are like, oh, that's my cousin. I'm cousin that's, and it's like, bro. Family tree turned into a yeah. family forest. And I, but me, I'm very. <laughs> I have a very good memory. So I remember when I, when I first started this, I, re, I can remember like, especially like when it comes to like family members, friends yeah. and stuff. Like I remember who was supporting me at the beginning. I have like a, I know who was supporting yeah. me. So if you, and I know like, you can't say I didn't know cause you knew, you know what I'm saying? But you just chose not to do it. And then now that I'm getting to where you feel like it can benefit you. Now you're, you're like, bandwagon. cause you know what I'm saying, my boy. You know what I'm saying? like, nah, I'm good. Well, especially I'm when sorry. that money come, wait till that real money come, <laughs> boy. Listen, boy, I already know. I already know. That's how it works. You have Japanese folks coming out talking about, hey, are we related? Yeah. <laughs> wait, yeah. what? Well, I don't know. Cause twenty three and me. What? Right. I need. To, I need to do one of those because everybody be asking me questions about like. Uh, you never know. My family is spread out, so I don't. That'll be know. cool. We should do. You that. should do that, and then like review it live. I'll do that. Before, like, do have a live reaction. Don't even read it prior. Do that thing right now. Just live right. Everybody. Just I so they see, see the shock in your face. Yeah. Like, hold on. I'm 32% Norwegian? But I, you know doing? what's crazy in my life? I wouldn't even be shocked. Like, with the way my life works, I wouldn't even be shocked. So, um, you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm definitely part African. I believe it. You know what I'm saying? I got that I be- sauce. I believe it. I got that sauce. Cooking. Bro. Cooking. I mean, okay. If not, I'm gonna become by injection. Okay. 
<laughs> so I, will, huh? I will say this, Manny. So where we're, we're at now, right? We always get to the end of the show. We talk about mm-hmm. you're out of it. I'm not even going to mention what you're out of, but I'm in. And we got to get it done soon. Um, Bro, I'm not scared. The be dating scared. game? Be scared. The dating game? But I'm saying, but you're out of it. I'm out of it, man, but I can host it. That's what I'm saying. So what are, what are we doing? So we want to do the actual game or a blind date, or do we do a game and then the blind date? The game and the blind date. Remember the, remember the show Blind Date back in the day? Yeah, yeah. Where they went on the blind date, and then they come back and review the blind date? Yeah. You want to do it that way, or you want to do it where we have the, the girls here, and you can't see them, and we ask them questions, and then you decide who you want on the date with. And we can, just, we can do and it. And we can do the same thing, bring her back and talk about how the blind date So we was. can put both of the dating game and the blind date show together. together. We can do that. You want to do that? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to hit them up, get a date from them. Do I know them? I don't know. This I don't, I don't, I know that you, I don't know that you know them right now. So it's not obvious, but you know, so many people it's possible, but it don't matter. Cause we're just playing this game. So I'm going to hit them up. I'm going to make sure they're cool with a date and it will set up. We'll have them here for the dating. Game. I'm outside. I'm a, we're, can we do this ASAP? We can do this ASAP. All right. We can, we can get it, it done. We listen, we can set it up for next. I'll week. have dates. No, let me have dates and times for you next week. And then we lock it in okay. and we'll go from there. And then it's lit. Yeah. I'm excited. Me too. You trying to be happy. They got to be cool with my hoochie daddy shorts because I'm outside. Well, no, let me not do that. Maybe when we do the show, you can kind of have a preview of your shorts. Yeah. So they know what they're getting into. And if, hey, if you can't rock with this, I don't know what to tell you. That, yeah. Then we'll really know if that person was really meant to date you or not. So yeah. I'm with it. All right. Well, we in now. I'll have, have some for you in a week. So what's our, what's our conclusion to this whole thing? Um... I mean, we're talking about the internet, but, you know, let's be more wide variety than that. Right, let's stretch it out. Anything powerful, it's up to us to decide what are we going to use that for? Are we going to use that for the greater good? Are we going to use that for selfish reasons? Are we going to use that to destroy? Are we going to use it for destruction? And that's what makes life interesting. We that have all true. these people and all these humans, and you can put them all in the same situation and they're going to take a different route. And it's always going to be a different story. And it's always going to be a good story, too. Man, you're so deep. I was just going to hey. say, stop being a horrible person on the internet. That's hey, Just stop being a simpler. horrible person. Yeah. Just be a good person. It's not hard. Yeah. It's not difficult. Just be a good person. Respect people. You know what I'm saying? Spread positive energy. Because mm-hmm. I'm not saying that every day is great for me. Yeah. But if it's not good for me, that don't mean I want to... Be, to be not good for somebody yeah. else. I want to like, l- listen, if, even if I'm going through this and if mm-hmm. I can make your day better, let me just do that. You know what I'm saying? So. You're such a good guy, man. I'm I'm be, I want to be like you when I grow up. You know what I'm saying? Girl. It's the voice, ain't it? It's that. It's the shorts. The hoochie daddy, daddy shorts. Yeah. 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 Trying to participate. On my side. Even if I'm not, you know, on a dating game or single, I'm going to participate in hoochie daddy. You outside? Season. I'm outside. Well, you're not, you're not outside. I'm not like, by myself. But you, like, you're in the car. I'm, <laughs> I'm outside of Jason. Oh no, you definitely not outside by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You but like you know. You like right by the door. You looking at me out the window. You squid word out the window. But you know, she's me. supportive of, of, the, of my hams and my yams. She's supportive of my yams and my hams. So um, <laughs> But she's gonna be there with me, yamming and hamming it up. So you squid word she's out the window. She's my little spatula, and I'm gonna just have these hams on deck. So you squid word out the window. Just quick, just slide. I'm big, but I'm gonna just You squid word out the window? Looking at me outside? Nah, bro. I, should, I got it. Hey, they supportive out here. You know what I'm saying? Backbone. I feel that. She going to pick out the shorts for me, bro. Watch. But she, I ain't going alone because I, even I know it's too dangerous to have, just have these hams out there. I ain't stupid. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. This ain't going to end well. So I know like. Manny, hey, don't follow me what I'm about to do. Do you know not, me? Not all the way. I'm going to follow you to a certain extent. I haven't you know been single in like three years, well, two years. So this is my. I'm gonna just be there, and make sure you're safe. Even if I'm not partaking, okay, I'm gonna I make sure you're it. safe, bro. I appreciate. And I want to be able to tell the parts of the story that you're gonna forget <laughs> or gonna try to leave out. <laughs> That's what I, my part. Is. That's what you really there for. Tell the truth. You really there to tell the parts of the story that I try to. That's leave reason out. A. There's a bunch of reasons, <laughs> but that is reason A. Because we have to make sure. <laughs> All right, so. That's the whatever episode of the OMG is Wick show. We out this thing. Y'all cue my theme music. Oh my God.